so I just pulled up and I am walking. I have about 10 minutes to go before I'm supposed to be in my seat and it's probably like a five minute walk. So. We are on break. The sun is shining, it's so nice. Very, very nice. Just enjoying some time outside. We're downstairs in the basement conferencing, so it's nice. We can come get some light. Yeah, I'm in the car. We are on lunch break. The guy is so nice, he gives an hour, he gives us an hour and a half for lunch. Shh. Don't tell the district. I just stopped by the Sprint store because my phone was not charging and he just had to clean the lint out of it, which is good because I needed my phone to be at 100% because I'm traveling tonight. It is 11.37. I am going to find a Jimmy John's to get lunch and then I am going to pull over and enjoy my food and probably read on my phone. Oh, I need to buy a planner. I need to find a Michaels so I can buy a planner. I kind of want to find maybe to see what other planners are out there, but I don't know if I'm willing to take the time and actually research. I don't want anything I have to order. I just want something I can go to the store, feel, look, and then pick. So I probably will settle on Michaels. Not like that's a bad thing, but I wonder if like Walmart or Target has really functional planners. I don't know. So I think I'm going to eat first and whatever time I have left, I'll look and see what's around the neighborhood. And if there's like a Walmart or Target, I might browse. If not, I'm definitely buying a planner today from Michaels. I just pulled into Jimmy John's. This Jimmy John's I've never been to before. I didn't notice that's a drive through but I am not one for drive throughs uh, I am. Like, I need to stop lying because I do McDonald's and stuff drive through. But for some reason, for sandwiches, like, I need to see who make my food. I don't know. Kind of freaking weird. But it is what it is. planners but I'm not seeing teacher planners so I think I will have to go to Michael's there's nothing I can use so I only have 25 minutes until I get back I need to go use the bathroom and then make sure I'm back on time all right you guys I'm back in the car I didn't see any planners, so I am headed back to work I need to be back in, in um, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put the phone down so I can use my phone's uh, GPS so I can make sure I have the right directions to get me there in the shortest amount of time. So I'll check in in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm done. It is 2.41, I'm done. And I decided that I am gonna head to my school. Check this out. I'm gonna to head to my new school and I am gonna see if I can get keys so I can see what my classroom looks like. Oh my God, oh my God. I don't even know if um, the person I would need to speak to is there, but it's just something that is just, I keep thinking about and is weighing on me. So since I have a little bit of time, I am gonna go and see if I can figure out what my classroom looks like. <laughs> It's so exciting. So, um, yeah, when I pull up to the school, I will talk to you then. I just pulled up to my new school and I want to show you something really quickly. When I was at my meeting uh, this morning, I was asking one of my science colleagues a lot of questions about where to park and uh, which entrance to go to because the school is huge and she was so nice she drew me a picture so um let me show you bless her heart bless her heart 
This is the picture she drew for me of the campus. Oh my goodness. And when she was talking, I kind of understood what she was talking about. But now that it's been like a couple hours since she drew this, it's like, what the heck <laughs> does any of this mean? Oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Look at all this junk. Oh my God. Like, what the hell? Is this a joke? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with all this stuff? Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. What the pig heart? That cheap brain? What the hell? Okay. Initial thoughts. This is a small ass classroom and I gotta have 28 kids in here. Two, this classroom is old as heck. Three, it's gonna require a lot of cleaning. Four, somebody's gotta move their stuff out. So I can't tell if someone is in the midst of moving or did they just leave their crap here. Oh my god, my excitement is now, it has now turned into oh, sheer panic. Because this is a joke. So, um, oh. Okay, a positive is that this is an actual science classroom. And last year, I was not in a science classroom. So that's good. Uh, another positive is it has a window. A third positive is it looks like it has science equipment. It has stuff. Okay. Ugh, flies. Um, some things that need to be improved on. Uh, one I can't control is the space, like the size. Two, um, it's going to require a lot of cleaning. I've been teaching for a while. And I can make this a nice space. Alright y'all. So, I wanted to see the classroom. I see the classroom. I'm not going to fret. Because um, now I just need an action plan. And I can do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking to you. And I am going to take pictures of the classroom so I can have on my phone and I can start thinking about how I want to decorate the classroom. So that's it for now. So I'm in the car. It is 737. I am headed to the airport. My flight leaves in about two hours and I will land at about midnight. And I am, I'm going to show you what I have on. I have very comfortable clothes. I have my NASA shirt on. I know I probably wear this in like every other video, but whatever. 
<laughs> this is my workout shirt. It's comfortable. I really, really like it. But um, yes, so I don't know if I can film inside of an airport, but I will try. So I'm at the airport. I just went through security, which was fairly simple because I don't have any luggage. I just have a purse with me. And I am headed down the concourse. I'm going, going to find my area. So guess what I did? Guess what I did? I thought I was flying into Tampa, right? And then I hear them say on the announcement, welcome to Clearwater. Clearwater? I, so I'm thinking, no, no, it must be like Tampa slash Clearwater or something. And so when I started deplaning, I asked one of the guys, where am I? And he said, Clearwater. I said, what? So basically when I was clicking, there are like two. There are like two airports, like on the opposite side of the bay. If the, if he was saying some, but anyway, I'm at the wrong damn airport. So I called my brother and I just love him so much because he says, okay, I'm on my way. So hopefully I don't have to stay here too much longer, but I can't complain because I mean, I was just like, I need to take, I guess I'll take an Uber, but um, I mean, I would take one if I have to, but I'm kind of don't want to take an Uber because I'm clearly farther than I originally thought. And it's like midnight. So, and then I'm going to go outside, but it's like clearing out. So when the plane um, came, it was like tons of people and now it's clearing out. So I'm a little, I'm say, I don't want to say worried about my safety, but I can't wait till he comes. So, boo boo move. Classroom. So that's it for now, and I'll talk to you in my next video.